today is Wednesday, September 11th, 2019, and it's pouring rain. There's thunderstorm warnings t right now and uh, lightning um, in Port Huron, Michigan. It's really coming down. What a mess. Right now it is um, three three thirty five PM Eastern Time and the rain started after three o'clock Eastern Time. Three o'clock PM Eastern Time. The mulch is really getting uh, it's getting flooded there with the mulch is going on the sidewalk. I just put the mulch in too. Oh, there's the flash. Do you see that on the sidewalk with lightning? There's the street light. The apartment complex, the office, uh, the landlord's office uh, yesterday power washed the building here in the 12 unit uh, apartment complex. They power washed the windows, the building, the patios, the windows, the screens. And I did some cleaning today, so I got everything clean for the inspection. We have a monthly inspection every month. It's a uh, second Thursday of the month and uh, there's the time right there it's a second Thursday of each month we get a monthly inspection by the um, our apartment landlord uh, occupancy manager that lives here he comes every second Thursday of the month and inspects all the apartments here. He's the on-site resident manager for our uh, apartment complex uh, landlord the, at the office in Fort Crash in Michigan. So I'm on my computer and I wasn't going to get off of it if, if, because the storm usually I do. I get off the computer because I'm online and I didn't today. I got my new, um, it's a Amazon chair in Ottoman. It's called um, Alfred Gray Fabric, Alfred Gray Fab Fabric Club Chair with Ottoman. And arrived today. So the only thing I had to put on was the legs. There's the legs. Just uh, had to screw them in. There's four in the ottoman and four in the chair. And here's the back legs are different than in the chair. Let's see, am I getting it right? I can't see if I'm getting it or not. Ugh. The legs are different in the back. They're kind of like curved. And the ones in the front, the two in the front are straight, like the uh, ottoman <coughs> legs. So the chair <coughs> is not the same as my new couch I just recently got too from Amazon. Um, but it does have the um, 
beads or whatever they call on uh, both on the couch and different colors though different color couch and chair but it kind of matches because the carpet and the throw rug the legs were inside the um, there's a zipper here and it's a it's like a compartment and the legs were in there wrapped and also in the un, under the chair there's a compartment too that's where they have the le had the legs and that and instructions and I still have my niece I got this Christmas 2018 um, for from my niece uh, youngest niece and her husband and their two children for Christmas. It's CAP, it's a uh, trampoline, mini trampoline. And I got this uh, club chair, Alfred Gray Fabric Club Chair for my oldest niece. Um, when they come, her husband and their three children come for Christmas, so she has a place to sit in that, um, so she'll be able to be more comfortable. because of her uh, auto uh, trailer, her auto and uh, trailer uh, accident she was involved in in, what year was it, 2013? Um, 2000, and she had back, she had back uh, problems after that, <clears throat> spinal problems. So I'm hoping she can, if she doesn't, then I've got my couch here and then my ottoman here, and she can sit on that couch with the ottoman. But hopefully she could sit on the, it'll be comfortable for her. It's, it's really not that, it's cushy here, the bottom, but it's a, it's a hard backing, you know. But um, I got pillows that I didn't even plan on. I had these already, and they're gray, so they'll, they'll probably be comfortable for her right to sit on with the, with the, Listen to that thunder out there with the um, uh, rain out there. Okay, so I'm going to go. Yeah, she's she was involved in an auto uh, tractor trailer, semi-trailer uh, accident in Ontario, Canada. And she, was, she calls it T-boned. And she was the only one in the car driving, so luckily nobody else was with her. But um, now she has problems sitting, uh, and she has to stand a lot. And you know, um, I'm hoping she gets better. But um, you know, she's born in 1976, and she's not that old. So I'm hoping that you know her injuries aren't going to be uh, debilitating for her as she gets a little bit older um, and I'm hoping that everything works out for her um, and her family her husband and the kids so and that was before my mom passed away my mom passed away in 2015 her her accident was in 2000, 2013 um, a couple years late before that, before my mom passed away, and uh, so I just don't. That's why I don't drive anymore because I don't like driving where there's. Um, you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> Hi, in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm waving. Yeah, I don't like uh, driving on the expressway uh, with semis along the. Is, you know, coming up alongside you on the um, expressway. Um, I never did like that. Um, so they should. I think they should have. I did a a letter to the editor or local paper years ago, Times Herald here in Port York, Michigan, about semi. They should have their own lanes. Uh, they do are, are supposed to drive on one side the slowest lane, but they, they go so fast. And now I think they can go faster now. I think they just passed a law saying that they can go 10, 
miles an hour faster or something. I, I thought, unless it's in Canada. But um, it's too bad that uh, the insurance company insure, insures everybody out of their cars, car, having to own a car, because insurance is so expensive. But what are you going to do? Well, maybe I'll take a, bit, a video of me sitting in the chair. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so here I am. Hi. <laughs> in Tara's chair. My nie oldest niece, Tara. And, and then here, my nie youngest niece, Victoria. When the kids come, they'll enjoy going on the trampoline Christmas time playing on that. Um, so I guess I'll go. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, I look forward to family coming. My sister and her husband, we go out to eat for um, lunch or dinner when they come for Christmas. and So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't seen my brother since after my mom passed away, and I haven't talked to him, so. Okay, so anyways, have a nice day, and uh, it's not as raining as hard now. If you look outside the window here. Pull the blinds up. Okay, I got that one up. It was very hot today, very humid, very hot today. And two, today is the uh, 18th year of the anniversary of 9-11. Today is Wednesday, September 11, 2019. And I will... Oh, got my door open. My computer. Oh no. It's not on now. Oh, it's not coming out. I hope the I hope the computer the storm didn't damage it. Oh no. This is terrible. <laughs> I should have went offline. Oh, maybe the battery is dead. That might be it. Let's see. So you'll so everybody'll know my computer is still working. I'll plug it in. light went on. The light went on. I had to plug it in here. Okay, so this is Joanne Marie Rumford in Port Erie, Michigan. I'm going to say goodbye now. And, um, and get back online. and post my video. Okay, take care. Thank you to all the service people and um, during 9-11 and afterwards and their families. Um,
it was a terrible time. I was living still in Port Huron, Michigan then, and I'm um, still here in Port Huron, Michigan, but it was a terrible time. And it's kind of like when President Kennedy was assassinated. I was about, I was nine years old, so I remember where I was at home at lunchtime, having lunch and going back to school. I don't even think I went back to school, but um, I remember where I was. I was nine, and I remember where I was um, for 9 11. You're in Port Huron. Okay, bye.